Who has five minutes a day? Raise your hand. Good. We all have enough time. If someone tells you that they're too busy, it just means they're unorganized. Here, V, 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 V. Go relax. You guys are doing a great job. Let's keep pushing it. Remember, you got to get your body going as well. Basketball is one thing. Getting stronger, working on your body is another thing. If you want to be a basketball player, working on your strength is part of being a basketball player. Some of us don't want to get stronger and work on our body. It's uncomfortable in the beginning. One of the main reasons is because you don't see results right away. When you start going to the weight room and you start working on your body, you're not going to see anything change for a long time. All right? It's going to take a while, but the consistency, the more you go, eventually you're going to be one day, oh, okay, look in the mirror, oh, I look a little stronger. Go play in a game, wow, I feel a little bit more physical, I'm taking contact better. But it happens over time. And because it's not instant gratification, most people stop going to the weight room. Because it's not instant gratification. You got to learn how to delay your gratification. Delayed gratification is most, one of the most important things in life. Okay? You're going to want it to happen right away. No. It's delayed. Okay, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. And eventually see results. All right? It's real important. It's not going to be comfortable right away. But you're going to get to a really good spot. Roll the ball to your feet. Ten toes on the ball. Hold the push-up position. Nine. Eight, great job, come on. Seven, six, five, four, get push ups if you feel three, good. Two, one, time, great job. Good, now we're gonna go five minutes straight. Five minutes straight. The flow that we use now, you can implement by yourself. It doesn't have to be the same drills that we're gonna do now. But you can dribble for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off for five minutes. All right, so when you hit start on this stopwatch, the start, all I want you guys to do is continuous through the legs, back and forth. And you're going to get as many as you can in 30 seconds through the legs. As many as you can. Once 30 second hits, you get your number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Ah, yeah. That ain't fast enough. You got to go faster, faster. Crossover behind the back, through the leg, crossover behind the back. You're going continuous with this, through cross behind, through cross behind. And every time you go behind the back, you count one. All right? Through the legs, crossover behind the back. Behind the back is one. Good. Come on, get it back. Time. When you go behind the back, it counts as one. Everyone knows what a V dribble is. Let me let me make sure we know. V dribble is here, so we're going over the top. Watch me here. V, 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 V behind. V behind. V behind. Your five minutes is almost up. If you did that every day, who thinks they're going to get better at ball handling? I'm assuming most of us. You're holding yourself accountable. That's full on accountability. And you're trying to beat your own score. So you are competing against yourself, just like you need to do off the court. What's up, y'all? DJ Sackman here. Thank you so much for coming to check out our YouTube channel. Remember, we do have a full online academy. Some of the best players in the world have taken our online courses. If you hit the link below, you can get immediate access. There's a ton of different courses for you. So if you are a basketball player looking to really improve your knowledge and your game, hit the link, and we'll see you inside. And again, thank you so much for checking out our YouTube. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe now button. When I was younger, I used to dribble in the laundry room at my house. 
in the basement, laundry room. We put a mini hoop in the basement. It was like this big. We just dribble around. That was my spot. And I kept doing that all the way through middle school. So you got to find your spot. And you're there right now. You're not in this gym. You're at that spot. Ready? Go. This right here, these five minutes, should be a non-negotiable for you guys. Should be a non-negotiable. If you get towards the end of the day and you're, and you're winding down for the night, this should pop in your head like, oh, I didn't get my five minutes of ball handling in. And it's something that you do. Because it's just five minutes. All right, we all got five minutes. This is your non-negotiable. Ready? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I know we're hurrying, come on. Not bad. Five minutes a day. That's it, you guys just went through it, you felt that, right? Who has five minutes a day? Raise your hand. Good, we all have enough time. If someone tells you that they're too busy, it just means they're unorganized. Because they're not scheduling their time accordingly. No one's too busy. All right, you guys got time. You definitely have five minutes a day. All right, you do that five minutes a day, I promise you're gonna get so much better at, at ball handling. And if you can dribble the basketball really well, if you can dribble the basketball really well, it's gonna open up a lot of different areas of your game. 